Okay, I've got a few tips for you here on your direct controls. We've got the volume sensitivity and the threshold from the keypad. The volume control I think is very important for dealing with large target signals. So I actually like to find a can or a big spike, something that's gonna make the loudest sound possible, and then set the volume control actually downwards a little to where that's comfortable and not gonna to be too loud when I get over something large. The volume control adjusts between 0 and 25. The default setting is 25. The volume controls the maximum level produced for a large target. It's really important to know that it does not change the sensitivity of a faint signal. It only limits the audio on large signals, so you can reduce this for oversized targets without any fear that you're going to reduce the signal from small targets. The sensitivity control, I like to run full sensitivity all the time whenever I can. Use the sensitivity plus and minus buttons to select from eight settings. Increase the sensitivity for very tiny and very deep targets. Use lower levels when the detector is behaving erratically due to metallic trash, mineralized soil, EMI, and this erratic operation can't be controlled with ground balance or frequency scan. Threshold's a very personal thing I found with people. A lot of people like to have a constant threshold. I'm one of them. Use the threshold plus and minus buttons to adjust the constant audio background hum. It's adjustable between negative nine and 25. The default setting is 15. Set the threshold to a barely audible level. Faint targets should just be barely heard as they make a small variation in the audio. For some people though, it actually does kind of bother them to hear that constantly. So take it down one more notch where it's silent and that'll be fine also. It's a real close thing and I, I really can't argue with anyone. If it's bothering you, turn it down. When we shot the original sensitivity instructional video for the Axiom, I had some tips on how to use it for, for best finding gold nuggets in the field. Since then, Garrett has dramatically improved the sensitivity of the machine. So much so that I actually feel like I have to change those tips now. Before I said just run it all the way to full sensitivity and at the time that was a great tip but now at the new high power settings the default setting of six is going to be pretty good for most experienced detectorists but what I really want the novices out there to do is actually consider turning it down even down to four as a really good starting location because six even is a really powerful setting seven and eight is very high powered and even the professionals out there should con consider twice before going to seven and eight. It's more for limited situations, extra deep gold, very small areas where you really want the maximum power of the machine. I'm extremely pleased with what Garrett has done on this final software upgrade. The machine is just, it's like a race car now. I'm loving it. So pay attention to this. Make sure the sensitivity control is not too high. It's like a speed control that if you go too fast, you could crash and burn. But if you get it set just right, you'll find that gold.